Happy Thursday, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Our devotional today that I chose to look at was first from 1 Samuel 12, in which the people of Israel are getting a king, King Saul. And while this is good and, and that God has appointed this person for them, it was not what God intended. The people cried out to God to give them a king, to somebody who they could physically see and follow. But Samuel reminds the people that while you may have this earthly king, it is God who is your Lord. It was God who rescued you from the, from the people of Egypt. It was God who provided for you all along the way. It is God who has given you this land in which you are in now. And so while you may have a king, it is Lord who you need to serve and follow and, and to follow his commandments and to seek him and to love him and to respect him. And that turning from any other way other than following God will only end in less than the life that, that, that God wanted for them. And so Samuel reminds the people of this. And so then we jump ahead to the New Testament in, in John 18, in which um, we read about Jesus being arrested. So this is these troubling times that we are, you know, that we wrestle with during Holy Week. We encounter it in Jesus being betrayed by one of his followers in Judas, who will be denied by Peter um, while he is being arrested and tried. See, Jesus was the king who the people always needed. It was God, um, but it wasn't the one that they were expecting, that Messiah, that anointed one. And so, because Jesus was unsafe, Jesus challenged. Um, C.S. Lewis um, wrote about this in, in a way in his uh, Narnia series, uh, specifically um, the, uh, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, in which uh, when describing Aslan, um, one of the characters, Mr. Beaver, says, safe. Don't you hear what Miss Beaver tells you? Who said anything about safe? Of course he isn't safe, but he's good. He's the king, I tell you. So during this holy season, when all you're looking for and all that you're seeking, um, be reminded of Samuel's words. Be looking to our, our king, our savior, in Jesus. And that in him, in following him, no matter what we're going through, um, that he is one who cares for us that he is one who left his kingdom to come to ours to bring forth the kingdom of God into our lives and that we will be with him forever. What an amazing gift. And so during this holy season, I just challenge you, challenge you to make that, to look to your king um, and not to allow anything that maybe your earthly desires to try to take of you away from that and to see how much God really loves you in Jesus. I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you.